Telegram is a place full of secret features and tricks. And since different teams work for the most popular operating systems, they come up with various fascinating features for each platform. Today we're gonna talk about the Android operating system. Reading all chats, custom notifications, the secret button that everyone should know about, and many other extra things are waiting for you in this video. Welcome to the Telebloke channel and let's get started. Before we get to the bottom of this, I'm gonna spend the next couple of seconds with the iPhone users. Please, don't get upset, because I'm already making a separate video for your system and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you on my channel. The hidden menu in the Telegram app for Android has a bunch of exciting stuff, while on iPhone it's super easy to mark all the chats as red with one swipe. On Android you should do some digging. To mark all chats as red, you have to open Telegram and go to the menu. For this, tap on the three dots in the right corner of the screen, choose Settings, scroll down and find Telegram for Android and the version number. Press and hold until you see a shruggy or the shrug emoji. Then long tap again and you'll see a debug menu. At the bottom there is read all chats option. Besides, you can import contacts, download them again, reset them, and you have many other very useful options that are initially hidden and unavailable in the regular messenger settings. If you get a message from someone and you don't want them to see the red statues, you can secretly read a text in Telegram on Android. All you have to do is long tap the user pick and you will be able to preview the chat. And if the text fits in, you can read what the person texted you. The downside of this feature is that you cannot scroll down in a preview and so you can only see the most recent messages. With the new 7.2 version of the Messenger, you can quickly edit media files, both your own and of the other users. To do this, you just need to tap on the image you sent and at the bottom select the brush icon that will redirect you to the edit menu. You can draw something, attach a mask or a sticker, add text and then send a new message to someone. The Telegram app for Android has custom notifications. And by the way, you won't find this on iOS. You can set such notifications for your contacts. To do so, go to a person's profile and tap on Notifications. Here you can turn on the notifications, turn them off or set a timer. And there is also an interesting option called Customize. Tap on it and go to Custom Notifications and you'll be presented with the options to change notifications, vibration patterns, sound and priority. You can also disable pop-up notifications from the user and if you have the LED on your device, you can choose the color for when you get a text. It's worth paying attention to custom notifications if you have public channels or groups. Go to the menu, tap on the notifications and get the same window as the profiles. Tap on Customize and here we get different and fascinating options. Of course, you can choose default options like Message Preview, Sound, Vibrations, Priority and LED Color, but you can also select how often you get sound notifications. There are more than enough options here. Suppose you have a chat and you can make sure you get sound notifications only once in 10 minutes. I mean, isn't it great? Do as you please. I'm wondering how valuable Android users find this feature. Share in the comments, please. You would probably think that's it? No way! Next, I'll tell you more about the secret button in the Android app, themes and GIFs, so be sure to watch till the end, you're gonna love it! Hit the subscribe button right now if you haven't done it yet, cause it's so easy to support us and encourage me to make new videos! Now let's talk about creating GIFs in Telegram on Android. To do this, tap on the paper clip in a chat, select the camera and record the video. If you want, you can crop it as you like and then to save it, you have to turn off the sound by clicking on the speaker icon. After this, the video will automatically turn into a GIF file and when you send it to your contact, it will play on loop. If you are an active Telegram user on your Android device, you're probably annoyed by the fact that the attachment button in the messages disappears immediately after you enter the first letter or emoji, aren't you? So it's like to have to either delete what you've already written in order to attach a file first or send the content later. And since these two options are not particularly convenient, there's another way to do it. It turns out that in Telegram for Android, there is a kind of hidden button for attaching files 
that appears at the place of the hamburger menu. Three vertical lines in the top right corner of the screen. Before you start entering the message, this button has options like call, video call, search and so on. But once you have started typing the text, this button turns into an attachment menu button. Here you can select an image from your gallery, the file you want to send to someone, etc. It's super easy and very helpful. And if you just found out about this life hack for the first time, hit the like button. With another Telegram update, users can customize appearance. If you don't like default themes like white, dark or dark blue, you can create your own one. Go to chat settings or download one from the official Telegram channel. Such resources are available for both Android and desktop versions. On Android, you just have to go to the channel, pick the theme you like, it's all shown in pictures, tap on one of them, check what it looks like and then click apply. And there you go. And finally, another cool life hack available for the Android users. If you're in a group chat and you want to see a larger user picture, just long tap on the thumbnail and then swipe up and you will get an extra menu that will allow you to open the profile, text this person or mention them in the group. And if you have multiple accounts in one application, you can quickly view other chat lists by long tapping on the profile you want. I really hope you found these tips helpful. Let me know in the comments about other exciting possibilities for the Android users or share which one you liked the best. That's all I have. It's the Telebloke channel. Subscribe and be trendy.